The second topic of consideration is the flows in the marketing channel, which can be categorized into the product flow, negotiation flow, ownership flow, information flow, and promotion flow. Let's understand each one of this in further detail. The first one that is the product flow. Product flow refers to the actual physical movement of the product from the manufacturer through all the parties who take physical possessions of the product from the point of production to the final consumer. Having said that, the product flow starts from the manufacturer to the transportation people, to the wholesaler, to the retailer and finally to the end consumer. The second one being the negotiation flow. The negotiation flow represents the interplay of the buying and the selling functions associated with the transfer of title. Hence, this flow is a two-side flow, wherein it could be from the manufacturer to the wholesaler to the retailer to the consumer or a vice versa that is from the consumer to the retailer to the wholesaler and back to the manufacturer. The third being the ownership flow. This shows the movement of the title to the product as it is passed along from the manufacturer to the consumer. Here as well we find that the transportation function is missing since the transportation firm does not take the title or is not actively involved in the facilitating function. It merely involves in transporting or transferring the physical products. Having said that, the ownership flow is from the manufacturer to the wholesaler, a two-way relationship between the wholesaler and the retailer, and yet again a two-way relationship between the retailer and the consumer. The next one being the information flow. In case of the information flow, yet again the, transformation, the transportation function reappears and all the arrows become yet again two directional because all the parties participate in the exchange of information. So the information flow is yet again a two directional flow from the manufacturer to the transportation company to the wholesaler to the retailer and to the consumer again a vice versa flow that is from the consumer to the retailer the information can be passed which in turn can be passed to the wholesaler following the transportation company and finally reaching to the manufacturer because from the manufacturer the consumer the flow of information is with regards to the product use and the service use however from the consumer to the manufacturer the information flow is with regards to its recent trends preferences improvements in the product or any other innovations or improvisations required the final one being the promotion flow. The promotion flow refers to the persuasive communication in the form of advertising, personal selling and publicity. There is a new component that is added to the flow and that is the advertising agency which is actively involved and provides and maintains the information flow. The organization works closely with the promotional organizations so that we find yet again a two directional arrow flow. From the management's view, the concept of channel flow provides a useful framework for understanding the scope and complexity of channel management. Say, having said that, the promotional flow is looks like from the manufacturer to the advertising agency to the wholesalers to the retailers to the consumers which is yet again a two-directional flow reaching out the consumers to the retailers to the wholesalers to the advertising agency back to the manufacturer. Sometimes the information bypasses the transportation company directly to the wholesalers, retailers. Changing scenario does make the role of the firms complex as a result of which innovative channel strategies and effective channel management are needed to make this happen.